the president of the Asian Football Confederation and FIFA vice president, Sheikh Salman bin Ibrahim Al Khalifa, today submitted an official application to run for the FIFA presidency in the elections to be held at the extraordinary meeting of the Federation's General Assembly in Zurich on February the 26th. Sheikh Salman said in an official statement that his decision to run for the FIFA presidency stemmed from his keenness to continue serving football with the utmost determination and professionalism in light of the critical phase undergone by FIFA and the need to put the federation back on the right track. This turbulent time, he stressed, required serious work to regain confidence in the major sporting organisation and to uphold its image. He underlined the need for concerted efforts to overcome the current phase by promoting the spirit of unity and solidarity, which will serve as a bridge into a new era that will rectify the shortcomings of the past and draw a roadmap for a brighter future. He also noted that overcoming obstacles required an experienced, competent and honest leadership capable of winning the confidence of the international football community. Celebrating the United Nations 70th anniversary and over 40 years of Bahrain's membership in the global body, the UN team in Bahrain held a reception at the Diplomat Radisson Blue Hotel on Monday night. The event was attended by His Excellency Dr. Sheikh Abdullah bin Ahmed Al Khalifa, the Under Secretary of International Affairs at the Ministry of Foreign Affairs, along with a number of high ranking officials and diplomats. More details in this report from Mohammed Al Shaban. The UN country team in Bahrain held a dinner reception on Monday night to commemorate the 70th anniversary of the establishment of the United Nations. The UN launched the global celebrations under the slogan, Strong UN, Better World. The celebration in the capital, Manama, was attended by a number of government officials, key diplomats and the media. It shed light on the historical relationship between Bahrain and the UN. On one hand, many Bahrainis played an important role in the UN, possibly uh, one of the most important ones at one moment. Uh, Bahrain had the presidency of the General Assembly of the United Nations, or also the Security Council, another big uh, gremia of the UN. And here Bahrain itself has, uh, from let's say, from in the country, there was a very close relationship with the UN agencies that worked here on development issues. The UN Day event comes at a busy time for the global organization, which was founded in 1945, ranging from ongoing global conflicts to an upcoming climate change conference in Paris. Just over a month ago, the UN adopted its post-2015 development agenda at this year's GA, 17 goals it aims to achieve within the next 15 years. This year is actually a very important year for the UN. We have... Uh at least two very important events uh, apart from this which is the sustainable development summit that just took place during the general assembly in new york and uh, where we agreed on a new sustainable development agenda with uh, 17 goals and all the countries have signed it and we will pursue it we also hope and that may be i think the most important gift to the 70 years of un on an agreement on climate change in December at the Conference of Parties in Paris. The UN is made up of 193 member states and the mission and work of the world body are guided by the charter signed 70 years ago. It takes action on the issues confronting humanity with regards to peace and security, climate change, human rights, terrorism, governance and more. We celebrate this 70 years of creation, the, the, the organization, serving the people all over the globe, serving the needy people, serving the people who are facing terror, facing insecurity. And we, we've worked a lot with all the member states to be sure that this mandate, which is given to the United Nations by the member states, uh, incorporated in the charter to be implemented. The UN was born of a perceived necessity and as a means of better resolving international conflict and negotiating peace. Tonight, and 70 years after the formation of the United Nations, was an opportunity to take a step back and reflect on the enduring achievements of the world governing body. Hamid Shaban, Bahrain Television News. The Ministry of Foreign Affairs is calling on Bahraini citizens in Pakistan and India to take care after the powerful earthquake that shook northeast Afghanistan, northern Pakistan and some parts of India. The ministry urged citizens to follow security and safety instructions issued by the relevant authorities in Pakistan and India 
and to contact Bahrain's embassies in Islamabad and New Delhi in case of any emergency on the telephone numbers shown below.